welcome to our coverage of ASUG Annual Conference and Sapphire Now 2014. We're in the ASUG News Studio, sponsored by NTT Data, and I am very excited about our next panel here. One of the most important things that ASUG does is work with SAP to influence the current and future development of SAP software. And really to talk about that process, I couldn't be joined by a better group of people right now. I'm very excited to have Tanya Rookard from SAP, Jeff Scott, our CEO at ASUG, Gerhard Spohr from SAP, and Heinz Hefner from SAP, and also from ASUG, David Cheston. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So uh, Jeff, let's start with you. Talk to me a little bit about what it means to connect with SAP and ASUG to really influence future direction <laughs> of software. Influence is a critical component of what ASUG does. We talked about it at the keynote on Tuesday. Networking, influence, and education are the three things that we do. And on the influence topic, the opportunity for our members to have deep conversations about how SAP software can be improved, things that can be done, and how we connect in with SAP to make those improvements happen is what the whole influence program is all about. And you know, we couldn't have a better group of people here from SAP today to talk about how we operationalize that and make it work. You have your Thursday afternoon laughter again, don't you? <laughs> so, Tanya and I have spent a lot of time together over the past couple of days, and it's been, it's been good. I, and I know I'm not yet up on, but it, it was a great pleasure <laughs> all the days. So see, we already see this connection here. There, it's there's very, a connection it's very strong. Here. Absolutely. So Tanya, you know, in the past year, there's really been some enhancements with the, the SAP program and, and both your relationship with ASUG to, to make it easier for customers to connect with SAP. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? My, my pleasure. But before we go to the enhancements, I would like to share how important it is for SAP for us to get your input. I think we have a lot, we know a lot about technology but we often don't know about what is going on in your company, what is going on in the, in the industry, and how are you using our solution. So we absolutely need your input, so please influence us. Coming to the enhancements. Number one, I think we have a new tool, and you might hear more about it. It's one access, you only need one user, all information is stored at one place in the system, and I think most importantly, it's not structured in an organizational matter. You only put in the focus topic, what you are interested in, and then all customer connection focus topics or side projects come up, and you can select, and you should not worry about if it's going in this or that direction. That's very that hopefully exciting. makes it easier. And then we also have a change internally at SAP. We are now all in one team. So I think I'm, I have the pleasure that the senior management, so with Heinz and Gerhard are both in my group, and I think this makes it maybe even stronger, while before creating this new platform, we were already collaborating. That's so exciting because one of the big issues for customers is just getting the sort of tipping point of customers they need in order to get some of these enhancements yeah. through. So that will make it so much easier for them to really get some, some very powerful enhancements through in a very short time frame. Now David, let's talk about the successes this year. There's been many of them. Give me a, 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 an overview of the highlights. It was a great, uh, 2013 we had 13 new Influence Council startups. It's a, a great interaction of our members where they get together to develop improvements that they want to see in the products that they're using every day from SAP. And SAP can, uh, supports those programs with their points of contact and uh, our customer chairs. So we've, last year we had 13 new programs. We've launched four new ones this year so far. We have two in development and in fact during conference I've had a couple people come up requesting, uh, inquiring how to start other influence councils because they see that there's points that they want to uh, have an influence on. There are solutions that they're using right now. Now we should mention that there's basically two different funnels that you can use to influence SAP on these software developments. There's stuff that you can do in the short term and there's things that you can use longer term and this is customer connection and customer engagement. Can you separate these out for me? And on the SAP side, the customer connection program is for incremental improvements and in, in, uh, solutions that are out today and they can take advantage of that program in, to download notes and enhancement packs and they provide feedback right into SAP developers to get the improvements to make their lives on a daily basis better. Uh, the customer engagement initiative from SAP is also a program where you can connect directly with SAP developers. As Tanya was saying, they want to reach out and connect with their customers, see how you work, see, see the functions that you need and the workflow you want, workflow you need to have in the programs and solutions. Absolutely. 
Now, Gerhard is the, is the Senior Vice President for Solution Market Introduction, and as part of that, you really head up this customer connection program. Talk to me a little bit about what you saw as the biggest successes this year and what you're really looking to enhance going forward. Thanks for the question, Courtney. Uh, of course, uh, Tanya mentioned uh, the successes we had in introducing the new tools, the new way on how improvements are handled and the ease of access for the customers. But for me, the turnkey was that I met Joff during the volunteer uh, conference in Fort Worth, and there we had time to discuss how ASA can enhance the participation in the customer connection program, which gives a unique opportunity to the customers to consume enhancements, improvements directly in their existing landscape, in their existing environment without upgrade and without lengthy processes to have the systems up to date. We downport each customer connection so that it's also consumable on lower releases. We are having great success from the side of ASAC collaboration. We have already now five new focus topics coming from ASAC, which uh, is a great success for 2014. We only have six months, uh, basically, uh, uh, round now, and uh, we have uh, another six months to go, and I, I, I'm looking forward that much more focus topics are raised by ASAC. You are the biggest user group in the world by far, and we like to collaborate with you. Also, we see uh, a large acceptance of the new influence platform. So in terms of uh, members, customers of members of uh, ASAC accessing the influence platform, and here we need to work together that every special interest group, everybody who is trying to influence SAP and getting the stuff forward is really knowing where to address, where to go in, and how to address it, and also knowing the basic information around the customer connection program. I think this is key that we expand our relationship here and get uh, much more active. There's room, and uh, we also have demand for new focus topics here, and I know Jeff is completely behind that. Absolutely. We are uh, in making very good progress. I, I thought, if I might for a moment, you made a wonderful point and reminded me that you don't have to be on the latest uh, release of SAP software to use what you guys are publishing, that you can download that and apply that to older versions of the software, and I think that's a very important point to make. You certainly can't underestimate that. I mean, David and I were talking to a member this morning, and then he was bringing up that very point, that you know you really need to be able to innovate on what you have, right. and, and that's so, so, so important, really, for, for customers to make that happen. Now, Heinz, you're the Senior Vice President for the Customer Engagement Initiative. Talk to me a little bit about the successes for this year, and then again, what you see going for 2014. Yeah, number one, we were very happy on the level of engagement that we saw in 2013, last year, given all the activities that have been driven by, by ASAC. So I think for this year, number one would be to kind of keep, keep this level of engagement up, because it's very important for us to have that level of engagement, to make sure that we get the right products out there in the right way for our customers in the US that are very important for us, right? So that's number one. Number two, we will have a, a focus this year on cloud products and also on the simplified suite of products. Very important also to get early feedback into the first development cycles of those products. And number three, it will be very important for us also to connect in end users. So we already talked to various SIG, uh, SIG leads that will help us con connecting with end users that would help also talk to our developers so that we get great input from the business end user side as well as from the IT and operations and running side. So these are our major focus topics for this year, and I'm very optimistic that together with, with the great ASAC members, we will get this done. It sounds like it's going to be a fantastic 2014 in terms of customers having the opportunity to really influence SAP on some of this cutting edge stuff we've been hearing about all week. Absolutely. And, and to, just to uh, reiterate, we've just launched two new influence councils, one on the adoption, uh, to help improve the process for our customers on the adoption of the notes and the enhancement facts from the customer connection program, and also on the user interface. Uh, we've also just, uh, those two councils are literally just launched in the last two weeks, and uh, members are encouraged to sign up and join those councils right now. Yeah, and those influence councils are key, I think, to the overall engagement model so that it works, because here you have the members that are interested in influencing, so we need to kind of nicely connect our programs into the influence councils, and here we go. David, if you are interested in getting more involved in influence, what is your suggested next step? It's easy to influence at asug.com. Great. Fantastic. Well, we sound like we're going to have a bright 2014, and every customer is going to have a chance to get every single piece of thing they want in their SAP <laughs> software, right? We heard it here? Okay, fantastic. <laughs> 
Well, thank you so much for joining me, everyone. It was a great conversation. Wait. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. Tanya would like to have one last closing point. Yeah, maybe I want to say that I think the collaboration between ASAC and SAP now, also with the ASAC board, and especially with Jeff, oh, I think you, is Tanya. going to new heights. And I, I would like to welcome all of you, all members, to really join us on influence.sap.com and in both programs and help us to improve our software even further. It's very important. Thank you. Very important. Thank you so much, Tanya. And thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching our coverage of ASUG Annual Conference in Sapphire Now. Stay tuned to asugnews.com for more SAP stories.